Okay, this is a typical method of slices problem. You can see you've got a, a slope here that's 14 metres high. We're given a, a bit of information over here on the left about the material. And what we're really doing, this is a, a, a gravity thing. The mass of this slope instability inside the slip circle is trying to slip this way based on the the mass of each of these slices and we'll come back to how we calculate that it's being resisted by a resisting force acting this way which is purely a product of the uh, soil properties and we're going to calculate each of those points in turn um, let me get rid of some of this lines you'll see here that it's divided into slices hence the name method of slices and we'll look at slice 3 here um, it has a weight W3 and obviously we can calculate that from gamma and it has an angle here at 38 degrees to the vertical and we're going to use that 38 degrees because the activation moment is just a and and the resisting moment are just functions of some um, sine sine and cos of that weight one acting one way one acting vertically so um all right we'll we'll get started on it um, i've pulled slice three out um, as an example and the really the first thing we need is the weight of it um, using the gamma provided at the top here 16 kilonewtons we can find the average height from this side and this side and with a little bit of trig we can find the width of it and we can then we have an area from the weight we can calc from the uh, uh, gamma we can calculate the weight of this slice but what's what's really going on usually in an exam you'd be either given the area or the weight um, what's going on with this there's a this thing's acting vertically let me draw it here it's acting vertically but we have a component acting in that way and a component acting in that way into this slip circle here and that's obviously a this angle here alpha is provided in that case it's 38 degrees and it's obviously just a w sine alpha problem and a w cos alpha for the um, uh, the forces acting into the slope so this one's cos alpha and this one's sine alpha and using those and the soil properties we can come back and find out the activation moment and the resisting moment and we'll look into that next okay that brings us to the equation to calculate this and this is the factor of safety it equals the sum of delta l c prime plus the sum of w cos alpha tan phi prime on the sum of w sine alpha and it all looks very confusing but it'll come down to a fairly simple thing in the end look at the first part that's this bit the sum of delta l c prime let's go right back to the start each one of these things has a length and that length is called delta l um, you usually be given that but you could calculate it from the, the angles provided if you knew the width of the each of the slices which again you could calculate but usually in an exam you'd be given the delta l's and the whole idea is you need to calculate the sum of delta l which is the whole length of this slip circle all right so let's go down to the equation the sum of delta l the length of the slip circle times the effective cohesion which should be given plus the sum of w cos alpha we spoke about that before w is here cos alpha is here it's being forced down 
into the circle here on the left it's been forced down normal to the slip circle times tan phi which again you're given that's this section so you'll notice all this stuff at the top is a function of something to do with the soil there's a phi value there and there's a c value there that's the resisting moment and at the bottom we have this sum of w sine alpha we'll go back here sine alpha times w and that is the activation moment and from that you can see if the resisting moment at the top is larger than the activation moment at the bottom the factor of safety will be greater than one and the thing won't fail so all we've got to do is go through and calculate each of these things um, delta L you're given, C is a constant W cos alpha, there's a different one to each slice uh, tan phi, phi is a constant divided by the sum of W sine alpha there's a different one for each slice and the easiest way to do it is in a table and I'll show you that next Okay, so this is the table I was talking about. You draw something up like this, or if you're extremely lucky, you'd be given to you. And you go through and fill in what you know. Um, the weights of each layer in an exam situation would probably be given to you. The alpha value for each slice. I've circled it up here, 38 degrees for slice 3 so we're going here 38 and the delta L's the length of the arc of each one so for slice 3 it's this area here this length here again if you're extremely lucky that would be given to you go through and full, fill them in and then uh, we'll, we'll come through and calculate the rest of it alright I've gone through and, and filled in some of this table the weights of each layer are given, alphas would be given, and the delta L's would be given. Note that down the bottom here, the alpha is negative 8. Let me go right up the top and have a look. And if you look, this um, has angle here, this last one has gone past the vertical, and the angle is negative 8 degrees. So it's positive that side of the vertical and negative that side. Just be aware you can get negative values. But just put the negative values in and then go through as we have done here and calculate sine alpha and cos alpha. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've filled the whole table in but it should be self-explanatory. This column, column 7, is W sine alpha W in column 2, sine alpha and in column 4. This L column is W, cos alpha. Same thing, cos alpha in 5, W in 2. Go through and multiply them out. And then we're going to need the sum of those last three columns. This is the sum of delta L. This is the sum of W sine alpha. And this is the sum of of W cos alpha. Okay, so once we've got that table completed, and as you can see, it's fairly simple, we then go back to our formula, which is the factor of safety against sliding equals the sum of delta L C prime plus the sum of W cos alpha tan phi prime divided by the sum of W sine alpha. So if we um, are looking at that, remember I said that the, the top one is the resisting moment, which has all the properties of the soil in it, and the bottom one is the activation moment. We can then go through and sub stick in these values. This first one, the sum of delta L, comes from here. The sum of W cos alpha comes from here. And the sum of W sine alpha comes from this sum. 
substitute those values in and do a bit of maths and we'll end up with the factor of safety. So we'll go through and calculate it out. The sum of delta 1 becomes 30.501 times C prime, which is 20 kilopascals, given to you at the start, plus the sum of W cos alpha is uh, 1638 times 10, 20, phi prime, given to you at the start again, all divided by the w, sum of W sine alpha, is 776.75 again uh, resisting moment on the top activation moment on the bottom that calculates out to 1.55 which equals the factor of safety against sliding um, and that factor of safety, safety if it decreases as it starts to approach one the likelihood of slope failure increases closer to one it is, the closer it is to failing. If it's less than one, it should have failed if it hasn't already. And that's the method of slices.